<laughs> All right, everyone. I'm Dylan, and I'm a man in a skirt. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you might think I look a little bit strange. You might think that I look good. You might think that I look controversial. You might think, who cares? He's just some weirdo. <laughs> Let's walk the, on the other side of the street. Uh, that's fair enough. But what I want to talk to you uh, about tonight is just, yeah, why I choose to wear a skirt and, yeah, just um, what it's been like uh, being a man that wears a skirt sometimes. So back in 2020, I made an art exhibition, and it was very creatively titled Men in Skirts. And <laughs> in this art exhibition, uh, basically, I had a bunch of skirts hanging in the exhibition space, and people could come in, and if they wanted to, they could put on a skirt. And that was basically it. So the participants uh, were the art. And I was very interested to see what would people do. So would they come in? Would they feel? Would would men ever even put on a skirt? Would they feel too uncomfortable? Maybe it was. Uh, maybe what I had hoped to do was create a safe space where we could call it art. You know, then you don't have to be too scared. So we called it art, and uh, yeah, and people came in, and uh, I was I was surprised. Like almost all the men that joined, tried on a skirt, and you know, men, uh, yeah, grown men don't get to play dress up very much. But we got to play dress up, and we got to you know put on different things, and you know, first they do this, and they're like, oh yeah, this is so cool. It's kind of you know, it's kind of nice. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun, and that was back in 2020. Uh, then in 2021, I thought, okay, well, why should men have all the fun? Uh, let's expand the concept more. And so I, I made another exhibition. It was called Fashion Freedom Fest. And in Fashion Freedom Fest, it was uh, a provocation. And basically, the provocation was, how would you dress if no one was judging you? And then people came dressed as they would like to. Um, uh, yeah, no matter basically if no one was judging them. And again, that was very fascinating to see how people wanted to dress. So some of them dressed very sexy. Some of them dressed very, yeah, very comfortably. Some of them dressed very colorfully. That was a theme that I saw, color, you know. Everyone always threatens to come naked, but no one's come naked yet. So we'll see. So that was in 2021. And yeah, we'll have another one in 2022. So Fashion Freedom is coming up. Yeah. Uh, so to tell you about the, uh, the first time I ever wore a skirt, I think this was yeah, it was quite an experience for me. It was in 2018. I had kind of done this thought experiment where I decided, okay, I think that genders are equal, therefore I should be able, willing and able to wear a skirt. So I was like, I'm gonna go, and I also think they're co kind of cool. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go buy myself a skirt. So I went to a shop here in Denmark, and I was looking around in the other section of the clothing store. You know, normally you're in the one section, then you get to see the other section, and you're like, oh, you know, is someone going to come and tell me I can't be here? You know, are they going to think I'm weird? And uh, I, had, I needed to get some help because I didn't know what size I was. Uh, <laughs> so I had to ask for help, and I was, I, I was kind of embarrassed, and the person working at the shop, I, they didn't care. Uh, they, I, was I was nervous. They, they, they were not nervous at all. So I, did, I found out I'm a size 38, um, yeah, so, and I found a skirt <laughs> that fit me, and yeah, so I, and I went into the fitting room, and I tried it on, and I was like, something in my brain said, these two things do not fit together. I mean, I was like judgmental of myself, and, and I don't find, I don't consider myself to be a judgmental person, but I have to be honest, like, when I saw myself in the mirror, I thought, okay, that's a man, and that's a skirt, those two things don't fit together. And this was quite surprising to me because, yeah, I, I don't, those are not my beliefs, but this is how I reacted. And I, I assume this is because I'm a member of society and we live in a society that is, of course, quite binary in its perceptions. So I was uh, experiencing that as well, some kind of cognitive dissidence. And so I decided, okay, well, then I'm going to have to practice. I'm going to have to practice wearing skirts until I get used to it, until everyone around me gets used to it. So since then, I've been wearing skirts quite often. I bought that one. Uh, yeah, and I have maybe a dozen skirts now. And yeah, sometimes I wear them to work. Uh, you kind of have to be in the mood, I would say, because you're going to get a bit of attention. Uh, so, you know, it helps if you have a good hair day and you're feeling confident. <laughs> if you want to put on the hoodie, that's not the day to wear a skirt because you're going to get a lot of, <laughs> a lot of attention. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, one, uh, yeah, last year we had a party at the university and it was like with students and staff and it was a huge party and everyone was having a good time. And I wore a dress and everyone were like, people were high-fiving me and stuff and I felt like a rock star. Uh, yeah, which I mean, normally I'm, I mean, I'm an engineer. No one really pays very much attention to me. So <laughs> it was kind of different to have a lot of attention. Also, I thought a bit strange, like, okay, people are still, this is 2022 and people are still going so nuts about a guy wearing a, a dress. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, another thing I noticed that was a bit interesting was the children, especially young boys, they're like, they get a bit 
weirded out, I think. Uh, sometimes I can feel that they're, that, that they're like, you know, what's going on? Because they know, and they're very young, you know? And I don't think their parents are necessarily teaching them that, but, they're, but they just know that that's not how things are. So I think we have a lot of work to do still. So yeah, and um, I've uh, always felt safe in Denmark. So I go to work and I go around and I, I, I never felt like at risk or anything, but I do appreciate that there are people out there in, in certain societies or certain places where there might be unsafe uh, to, to dress in this way. And yeah, I feel very lucky that uh, that hasn't been the case with me. Yeah, so I was, uh, during this project of and practice of skirt wearing, I've been thinking about, you know, like what is the history of skirt wearing? And so back in 1998, if you're old like me, you remember David Beckham? Remember when he wore a sarong that one time? Everyone went mental. They're like, oh, David Beckham, he's supposed to be a footballer and he's wearing a skirt. What the hell is this guy doing? You know, that's not masculine. Uh, yeah, so, but that was back in the 90s, you know, that was a crazy time. Yeah, I'm sure we're much better than that now. And then in 1996, this uh, artist, this rapper called Young Thug, he was on his uh, album cover wearing a blue dress. And everyone was like, what are you doing? That's not gangster, you know? And he's like, I'm an artist, you know? And they're like, ah, they were judging him. Uh, yeah, then what happened? Uh, oh, yeah, then we had, uh, yeah. What's his name? The guy that, wait, uh, say again? Harry Styles, yeah. So he's on the cover of Vogue in 2020, you know, looking super fabulous in this beautiful dress. And I would say, yeah, most people were quite positive about that. You know, he's so cool. But I mean, again, these are, and I think this is great, but these are also artists and performers. You know, they, they kind of have to be different. Uh, yeah, and what about the fashion industry? So on runways, you, always, you often see uh, fashion designers playing with gender and you will see, you know, men and women wearing all kinds of different clothing. But I don't see it translating into the normal everyday person. And so maybe that's where I come in. I mean, someone has to do it, right? So uh, <laughs> well, why not me? Uh, yeah, and I noticed that, uh, you know, in the past, like women have fought for the right to wear what was traditionally considered masculine clothes. So they fought for the right to wear pants and to wear suits and to wear trousers and these kind of things. Uh, but men haven't been fighting for the right to wear a dress. Why is that? And I think it's because of power. I think it's because men are in the, still in the position of power in society and, and they don't want to be uh, associated with the less powerful, which is the feminine. And I think that's a problem. And I think if you really believe that the masculine and the feminine or whatever, these are very, very general uh, classifications. If they're, if they're equal or they're both good, then it should be okay to be associated with, with, with either of them. And I'm happy to be associated with either of them. Yeah, so what about more normal guys, as I will call them? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I think in general, there's not very many that do this, but if you look carefully, you can find some. So if you're on social media and you look for men in skirts, uh, you will find Mark Bryan. He's this very uh, interesting guy that lives in Germany. And he, some years ago, he decided, okay, I'm tired of these gender norms. I'm gonna wear a skirt and high heels to work every day. And he's like, he was on the cover of Euro Woman not you're a man, you're a woman, you're a woman recently, but still, that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, I would say gets a lot of love on social media, probably gets a lot of hate too, but don't read the comments, you know, no good can come from that. And uh, here in Denmark, we have this guy called, called Mikael. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but some years ago, there was a DR1 documentary about him and his family. And it was called, uh, it's translated to father, mother, and uh, kid, uh, children. And it was about him and his family, and they live in the southern part of Funen, and they live off-grid in a very natural way. So they grow their own food and all this kind of stuff. And uh, this guy, Mikael, he wears skirts. And I was like, oh, cool, here's a guy who already wears skirts. I want to go talk to him and figure out what his motivations are. So uh, me and my friend Stefan went down there. We took some photos, and we asked him some questions. And he was like, it's practical. It's so practical. So he doesn't like wearing shoes and he does he doesn't like to wear trousers. He doesn't he likes the freedom and he also likes to make his own clothing. So sustainability is very important to him. And so he likes to just buy fabric, uh, sustainable fabric and then he makes his own clothes. So the, his skirt is like four pieces. One one in the front, one in the back and two on the sides that overlap. The most simple kind of garment you, that you can imagine. So yeah, what about me? My motivations? Uh, I would say mine were very much about sort of a thought experiment about this idea of equality. So I was thinking, okay, if I believe everyone is, is, is equal, then shouldn't I want to be, I, would, I wouldn't care if people think, um, you know, I have questions about my, uh, my gender or my sexual identity or any of this kind of stuff. To me, it, uh, it, I don't care. So if that's really the case, then I should be willing and able to dress in any way that I want to. 
So that thought experiment, those kind of thought experiments always lead me into things where then I'm like, damn it, okay, now I have to, <laughs> now I have to do it. <laughs> because I don't think it's enough to, uh, yeah, to just have beliefs. I think that you have to practice them. And so in order to practice what I believe, I realized, okay, well, then I have to start showing it and, and doing it. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, yeah. And I also think wearing skirts is a pretty fun experiment in empathy. So if you've never tried wearing a skirt before, I, it's, you should try it. It's, it's pretty interesting. So like one thing you'll notice is that you don't have pockets. So <laughs> maybe half the room knows about that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's, that's something to, to consider. It's, it's a bit of a different world. Uh, also, you know, getting on your bike, you need to be careful that you don't fall. Uh, you need to keep your legs together unless you <laughs> want to flash somebody. Yeah, so uh, so I think it's uh, yeah, a, a very uh, fun experiment in, in empathy. And um, yeah, I also think it's a, an interesting exploration in masculinity as well. Like what is healthy masculinity? Um, this weekend I saw a bunch of guys walking down the street, drunk, celebrating their friend's bachelor party. You know, he had the sign on him and he was wearing a dress. And I'm, I'm sure it was because they thought that would shame him. He would be so embarrassed to look like a girl and, uh, and made me a bit sad because I'm like, come on, it's 2022 and we think this is funny to like basically make fun of, of the feminine. So, uh, so then I asked myself, like, what's the difference between what they were doing and, and what I'm doing? What's the difference between what they're doing and what Harry Styles did? Or is there a difference? So uh, what I've been trying to do is be empathetic and do my experiment in a respectful way. Uh, yeah, but uh, again, it, I think it's it's challenging to know what people's motivations are just by the way that they that they look. Yeah, so there are also a lot of uh, I would say uh, be benefits uh, from a fashion standpoint as well. So if you want to stand out, <laughs> guys, you know, huh? power skirt, <laughs> maybe that's the new look. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, also I think it's it, it is fun to have a different kind of look. You know, especially if you're a man, you're like you're stuck. You have to wear, you know, sh shorts and trousers, and that's basically it. And now you can add dresses and skirts, and it's a different silhouette, and it's fun, and you can you know do. It's really cool. Sometimes you get really flowy things. Yeah. So, <laughs> good times. And yeah, just some tips. So there's a lot of questions that people have when you when you wear a skirt. They have uh, yeah frequently asked questions. I would say, the first one is, do you shave your legs when you wear a skirt as a man? I don't know, For some reason they think that. Uh, I say, well, do you shave your legs when you wear shorts? Uh, if you if you don't, then no. If you want to, you can though. It's your legs. You can do whatever you want. Uh, sometimes people ask, uh, yeah, they, <laughs> okay, the most important question they ask is, <laughs> do you wear underwear? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. What did they say about kilts? You shouldn't, if you, you shouldn't ask what's under the kilt. Yeah. Um, I do because I'm not very good at keeping my legs together <laughs> and I'm afraid I'm going to flash the whole world. Uh, also, if you wear bicycle shorts, you can keep your phone there. <clears throat> Little tip. Yeah. But, uh, that's just, uh, yeah, that's just my style. So yeah, uh, I hope that uh, yeah my my experiment in empathy has inspired you. I would suggest that you try and go out there and also look and be empathetic. Uh, try th try different things. Try and think about how life is for other people, and uh, yeah, and take that in. And also, if you have a belief, it's not enough to just believe it. You have to do it. So think about those beliefs that you have and and actually do them. And yeah, and so yeah, no matter what happens, uh, I hope that even if you wear a skirt or you don't wear a skirt, you take those things into consideration. Thank you.